Hi, I'm Vic Teslin. A scraper is a great simple tool that can help you tame hardwoods or difficult grains. Like every other hand tool, however, it requires a little bit of tweaking and setup. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first step to getting a cabinet scraper ready for action is to joint the edge. For that, you're going to use a mill file, and in this case we've got it in a holder that's going to hold it at 90 degrees. Then you just simply run the file over the edge, and that's going to remove any of the old hook and make sure it's nice and straight. The next step is to remove the mill marks from the file, and we're going to do that on a Japanese stone. Easiest way is to use a block of wood to hold this at 90 degrees, then you can run the scraper along the stone. Just move it once in a while so that you don't dig a spot into the stone. Once you get all of the mill marks off of the edge, then you can stone the sides lightly just to remove any of the burr that might be left behind. Now we're going to put the hook onto the edge of the card scraper. We're going to start by putting a little bit of oil on the edge just to prevent the steel from getting galled by the burnisher. We're going to hold it at about 90 degrees and then you can tilt it up 5 to 15 degrees depending on how aggressive you need the hook to be. Then simply run the burnisher across and check to see if you're feeling any of a burr showing up. If you don't, apply a little bit more pressure and you should start to feel a burr being raised. Now that we've got the hook burnished on the edge, we can start to use the scraper. Ideally, a card scraper should be taking shaving very similar to a hand plane, not dust. When your hand plane just won't tame that grain, you can fall back on a cabinet scraper to get a great surface. 